second episode filmed from a hotel in like a month's time and shit but we're coming to you Friday well I'm filming this Friday you know what I mean a week after the Friday before the storm still no power at the crib which really sucks when it's 101 with the heat index you know what I mean and you live in a 1972 mobile home but Thankful to Allah, God, Jesus, Buddha, whatever you want to say, you know what I mean? That shit was scary. It shifted mad paths and shit. And if I had known that was the path it was taking, I would have evacuated. But we wrote it out. Lady Crates, Max, and I, we survived. So thank you. Today is a good day. So I imagine it's probably like Friday after like, I think it's like September 22nd. I don't know when I'll get power back. I don't know when I'll get cable back, Wi-Fi and all that shit. You know what I mean? Post it up in the La Quinta Inn West Airport. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. They mad cool and shit. We up here with the dog and everything. It just so happens, back to the digging. It just so happens, like a couple days before the storm, we was out looking for water because you couldn't find water, gas, anywhere and shit. And went by this boys and girls club uh, thrift shop that I probably have only been in like two other times and shit in my life. So anyway, I stopped in there. They had a whole bunch of 50 cent CDs that I couldn't pass up. I never bought CDs, like, I don't even know why I bought these, but they're early 90s joints, they're super fresh. I already have all of these on a hard drive. I probably have 90% of them on vinyl, probably have 75% on cassette tape, but I bought these. CDs. I, it's a disease. Cultural detritus. Punk Texas. How you make out Harvey, man? I hope you're okay. So, we're gonna have CD wars. You know what I mean? CD wars. 50 Cent CD Finds. Boys and Girls Club YMCA. Downtown Science. If you remember them, uh, I think their main joint was Room to Breathe. Uh, pretty good shit, you know, on the different tip. Downtown Science. 
they're gonna go up against and we're just pulling them out of the bag here raw fusion yeah you know about raw fusion I think it was and pardon me I'm frazzled it's money B and DJ fuse uh, pretty much from digital underground this is this is a fucking ill CD so as much as I like downtown science I'm gonna have to say raw raw fusion defeats downtown science in the first round of CD Wars 2017 check out that raw fusion I need to check it out because that was probably one of the ones I was most excited about finding and shit that shit if I remember was definitely dope and different raw fusion uh, third base derelicts of dialect I, I don't think I need to say anything about that who are they going up against Black Moon, War Zone. I don't particular and, and some of these CDs aren't even open. You hear it? You hear it? Duck Down, yeah. Um, this particular release, War Zone, wasn't a big uh, favorite of mine. It's dope, definitely. But um, because of longevity and production and everything, we're going to go Black Moon over third base in the first round. Talib Kweli, quality, very good, very good joint here, I don't think I have to talk about him, oh, but he's going up against K Solo, time's up, that's a fucking good game, that's a good game, K Solo's earlier joint is better than time's up, you know what I'm saying, but it's still good, Talib Kweli, he's got some dope shit, I'm going to say K Solo wins in overtime by one point. I, I got to. Just because maybe your mom's in my business. She's in my business. Tell your mom's to mind her business. Ice Cube, death certificate. Shout out to the Big Three. If anybody been watching the Big Three, I thought this shit was dope. I mean, you know, first year, first season, so. Big ups to Trilogy, went undefeated. Let's see who Ice Cube is going up against. Oh shit, Ice Cube versus Tough Crew. Yeah, if you know about Tough Crew, they're from Philly. They got some dope ass shit. You need to check them out. There's like one or two releases though with like totally different members. I'm not sure, I think this is one of the good ones though. Back to Rec Shop, Tough Crew. But unfortunately, they lose to Ice Cube 93-78 in the first round. Moving on. Souls of Mischief. And like I said, some of these are brand new. Crazy. Souls of Mischief, 93 to infinity. Very, very, very dope album. Who are they going up against? Oh, shit. Shit, son. Mob Deep. Infamy versus Souls of Mischief. Damn. Fuck, man. Ah. I gotta give it to Mob Deep. No, I don't. Souls of Mischief is coming back. This is going to triple overtime. But still, I gotta go Mob Deep. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, that Ice Cube, Lethal Injection. We already have an Ice Cube, so this would not be in play. So, Rock Him, the 18th letter, obviously would be a number one seed in this tournament. Going up against Tim Dog. What's his motherfucking name? Tim Dog. I heard he got busted for like scamming old women in like the Bronx, so that's pretty whack. And the largest margin of victory in a CD Wars game ever Rakim 103, Tim Dog 69. Moving on. EPMD, yeah, nobody's safe, chump. EPMD versus. Oh my goodness, X Clan to the East Blackwoods. Drink the holy rum swig. 
Heist Love X Clan, which is so funny, I guess. But EPMD over X Clan in the first round. We gotta keep these organized for the tournament. I hope you guys are enjoying this. These are some dope albums. I wish they were all on vinyl, but you know what I mean? Brand Nubian Foundation. Aren't these great for 50 Cent? How, I, I couldn't pass them up. Brand Nubian Foundation. Oh my god. Pete Rock and CL Smooth versus Brand Nubian. Talk about game of the week. This is going into quadruple overtime. And I hate to say it, but Pete Rock over Brand Nubian. 105. 104. Chili T, get off mine. Do you know who Chili T is? Chili T is like Malibu's most wanted real life and shit. He's the fucking son of the Nike guy and shit. Phil Knight. I forget his name. Maybe like Jordan. I'm not Jordan. I don't know. Chili T put out some shit. He's the son of the Nike CEO. He's going up against King Sun. Some classic shit. XL, King Sun. That's a no brainer. King Sun taking out Chili T. Chili T better get off his. Yeah, and this is dope because it's actually a Chili T get off mine sticker. It's like a, some of these are promo CDs. So it's like some kind of DJ's collection of guests, I don't know. And they're all in great shape. Naughty by Nature, shout out to Jersey. Naughty by Nature. You know, Deep Pate's one of the wickedest men alive. Naughty by Nature, going up against Mad Skills. Oh man, I love Mad Skills, but I gotta go with my Naughty peeps, you know what I'm saying? Great game, but Naughty by Nature over Mad skills. Shout out to Virginia. Death the bomb. <sighs> Fucking, we had an explosion like that. Sadat X. Brand new being got knocked out. But Sadat X snuck back in the tournament. Sadat X is going up against Fat Joe, aka Don Cartagena. And I'm going to go with Sadat X over Fat Joe. Even though he can kick it this way, and he can kick it that way, and he can kick a funky rhyme all the way to Biscataway, so can Sadat X. You know what I mean? Next up, CMW. And I keep seeing, uh, well, you know, before I left the real world a week ago, a uh, post from um, DJ Premier about a new MC8 album, Which Way Is West or something. I want to check it out. If any of you's seen it or checked it or heard it, post a comment. Let me know. But uh, CMW, it's a Compton thing. This is a classic slept on album. CMW going up against the disposable heroes of hip hopocrisy. Are you kidding me? Fourth and B way. How can I pass this up? Fifty Cent. Shout out to Turtle Hands. He used to love them. Disposable heroes of hip hopocrisy. If I take them over CMW, all my West Coast people are going to be pissed. But I got to say, I love Disposable Heroes of Hip Hopocrisy. So, I hate to do it, but I got to. I, I mean, there's definitely an East Coast bias going on here. And they'll probably investigate me like that one ref in the NBA years ago, but oh well. Outcast, Idlewild. Outcast, Idlewild. Going up against Method Man and Red Man. That's a fucked up thing because Outcast as a group, you know, is so great. And Method Man individually and Red Man individually are so great. And to team up and shit and put these two CDs to, who, who did this seating? Fate did. Fate's warning. I'm going to have to go Method Man, Red Man over Outcast. Especially because it's Idle Wild. Southern playlist of Cadillac music might have beat it. And we got to Cypress Hill. I don't see Cypress Hill losing, but I don't know who they're going against. 
Vicious Bass. We won't, there's a couple of compilation CDs, so we won't do those. Ah, the best of profile records, not for sale promo, profiling. Yeah, like I said, there's, there's fucking tons of CDs. Uh, I used to love this CD, Sealed Unopened Soul Assassins. If you never heard this, you need to check it out. It's got some, they tried to like mix up West Coast, East Coast, and all different, you know, types of artists. It's a DJ Muggs type joint. It's fucking great. Soul Assassins. Sleeping Bag's Greatest Hits. Yeah, Sleeping Bag Records. Greatest Hits. Alright, so Cypress Hill is up against Keith Murray. Damn, I love Keith Murray. The most beautifulest thing in this world is just like that. Cypress Hill gets in ya. Cypress Hill takes out Keith Murray. Eric Sermon, but how can this be? EPMD's in the tournament. He is disqualified. King T, one of my favorite covers. I stole this, or excuse me, I accidentally brought this record home from the um, Rutgers radio station when I first started working there. And I love King T. Yeah, King T going up against The Roots? Oh, come on. It's going to look like East Coast Bias if I take The Roots over King T, but I, I, I can't see myself not... You know what, King... King T... Alright, The Roots beat King T. Cellar Dwellers, now just The Dwellers. Yeah. Cellar Dwellers. This is a fucking great album. Realms and Reality. Cellar Dwellers vs. YBT. Young Black Teenagers. Yeah. Tap the bottle in. Twist the cap. I'm going to have to go Cellar Dwellers over YBT. Although some of the people in YBT still be doing their thing in um, film and uh, production and animation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, crazy gimmick. If you don't know about them, Google it. Google it. Sell the dwellers over YBT. Ah, uh, for all my Houston heads, too much trouble. And I think this is kind of hard to find, I'm not sure. Featuring the Ghetto Boys, the baby Ghetto Boys. They had a song on here about rape, which I definitely don't condone. But I remember it causing a lot of problems, and uh, I'm pretty sure they pulled this and fucking destroyed it. But um, it's, I think it's called Take the P. Too Much Trouble is going up against AMG. Whoo! Jiggable pie. I'm gonna go with Too Much Trouble. No, I'm not. You did a song about rape. AMG, I'm going with AMG. My, my, my. Jiggable pie. Ice tea. This is obviously a number one seed. Ice tea against. Oh my god. Trenton makes the world takes poor righteous teachers. I love poor righteous teachers to death. But we're going to have to go iced tea. Oh man. Some great games here today, huh? Dilated Peoples. Or is this Slum Village? Slum Village. They're like the same to me. That's so fucked up, right? Slum Village is going up against dilated peoples I'm giving it to dilated peoples should I? I don't know I don't know either of them well enough Prince Paul politics of the business is going up against KRS-1 I love Prince Paul but I'm going to have to go with the number one seed, KRS-1 in that one. EPMD, we got doubles, but it should be duly noted, Ice Cube the Predator. As usual, I don't fucking check and I just take them home, but it makes it even more fun. Because I have this album tons of times over. So, the Predator is in there, so that's Nolan Boyd. 
clips, Lord willing, clips is going up against Hip Hop East Meets West, put that in the compilation pile. The underground sound, east side, all the comps are like unopened. Bass blowout. Bass blowout. Wow! Rap Masters. A rap, rap, rap Masters. The Source. I always like that cover. Techno Bass. Beat do do Dominator. Yeah, so it would appear the clips did not make the tournament. Sorry. Man, so that's the first round. So we'll go and we'll start then. Raw Fusion up against Mob Deep. I love Raw Fusion. I love it. This is dope shit. I'm gonna get now we're going on strength of this album. I'm going uh, I'm going Raw Fusion over Mob Deep. They pulled it out. Anything can happen in the game. King Sun versus Method Man Red Man. Two on one. It's no fair. Method Man Red Man. One. Rakim versus Black Moon. He's taking on the whole Black Moon. It's just not possible, is it? Rakim over Black Moon. Because I don't like Warzone. Cypress Hill versus the best of Naughty by Nature. That's fucking mad hard and shit. That's fucking mad hard. Naughty by nature. EPMD versus K Solo. Time's up. Not as good. Business never personal. EPMD wins. The Roots versus Sadat X. Allah Akbar. The Roots. Pete Rock versus Ice Cube. This is the game of the week. Second round. I gotta go Pete Rock. I, I, Which album are we talking about, Ice Cube? Death Certificate, yeah, so I can justify this as this going over that. Cellar Dwellers versus Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy. I'm going Disposable Heroes. AMG versus Ice T. S O double R Y. Karis One versus Dilated Peoples. Raw Fusion versus Method Man, Red Man. Method Man, Red Man get the win. Great game. Rakin takes on all three members of Naughty by Nature in a great game, but three, three on one just isn't fair. Roots versus EPMD. What a fucking battle. EPMD pulls it out somehow. Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy versus Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Straighten them out. Oh my god. Karis one versus Ice T. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We'll go back here. Method Man and Red Man take on Naughty by Nature. Wow. Method Man and Red Man pull it out. EPMD takes on Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Wow. Holy cow. Holy shit. I don't know what to do. We're going. Huh. EPMD. So we have Eric Sermon and Paris Smith versus Method Man and Red Man in the championship 2017 CD Wars game. Method Man and Red Man pull it out. Wow! Your winner is 2017 CD Wars. Method Man and red man. I need another um, Bud Light Lime Arita. 
because they don't have many things available to you. But hopefully this air is September 22nd. Hope the CDs didn't bore you. Hope it wasn't too whack. But a digger like me got no power, no cable, no Wi-Fi. My lawnmower shed lost the wall. I spent the last 18 hours of the last three days mornings picking up branches and trees and cutting shit down. Probably got to do just as much still. And not even mentioning the damage to the roof and the ceiling and the siding and everything. But we okay, so that's all that matters. You know what I mean? The crate show. Everybody treat everybody good. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be alive. We'll be back in the lab hopefully for like the beginning of October. I have a feeling this is kind of ruining Halloween for me, but I'm going to hit the pool now real quick and I'll check you all out next week. So there were like two main requirements for finding a hotel. One obviously had to allow pets. There's Mr. Max. Oh sorry about it, I didn't mean to wake you up. So we had to find a hotel that took pets and I wanted one that did not molest you. Pets and no molestation. Thank you, La Quinta. Oh, yeah. Also in the Goodwill, a six-pack of homies. I've never bought a homie in a pack like this. I always used to get them out the fucking gumball machine at Piggly Wiggly. But a six-pack of homies... 99 cent. I thought that was pretty cool. There's two of them with mics and stuff, so shout out to that.